Hello, I am Dr. Anand Beur. Today's topic for discussion is use of gauge R&R method for measurement system analysis. This gauge R&R method is actually used to analyze important aspects of gauges that is nothing but instrument as well as other important uh, components of measurement system. This method actually helps to quantify each component of variation so that we can uh, determine what portion of variability is affecting or leading to introduction of errors in the process, whether it is due to operator or it is due to the parts. There are three basic methods used to calculate R and R value. First is range method, second is average and range method, the third is analysis of variance that is ANOVA method. Today we are discussing average and range method which actually computes total measurement system variability which can be separated out into three basic components that is repeatability component, the second is reproducibility component, third is total part variation component. This method requires multiple parts, appraisers and trials to quantify this R and R values. This is the simple process, we will just go through it quickly. Let us select five parts for study. These parts to be selected preferred, uh, preferably from the same uh, process being get produced, preferably in a sequence. Then next is uh, selection of the operator, maybe three numbers, I am considering an example here, you can work with two also. Then operator should be uh, considered as qualified operator, means what, must be uh, aware about how to handle that instrument and you must be aware about the process to be followed for inspection. Next is uh, select five parts randomly, call first appraiser and allowed to start measurement process, measure five parts. Coordinator of this particular activity should record all the data on worksheets, call next operator, likewise repeat and enter this data into this worksheet. This is an example. Here the two appraisers, technically we generally call them as inspectors, so the inspector or appraiser A and B using three trials for five number of parts. We can, once you start noting down these values here, calculate average, range vertically, similarly horizontally. You can make use of these formulas. The first formula is equipment variations, second is helping us to understand appraisals variation. These two components are helping us to calculate this R and R value. This is the guideline here. The R and R value is less than 10 percent the process capable. If it is in between 10 to 20, it is barely capable. If it is more than 20, we can require some improvement. See there are some of the guidelines as a part of a standard process. For example, K1, AV, K2, D2, these are standards which we need to consider here and these are the values will be directly selecting from this table and using in these formulas to calculate R and R value. Thank you.